All right, guys. Um, I'm I'm struggling for for words of where to start with describing what is happening today. Um, I am in Bahrain. Uh, welcome, welcome to Bahrain. We are in the international race circuit, and I'm here for a very exclusive, very private track day. Um, and the cars which are in front of me, I I can't actually begin to, to describe what is happening here. So. I'm about to uh, show you the sort of cars which have turned up. These are private cars. This this isn't team ran stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna show you around the uh, pits and show you what ridiculous stuff has just turned up. Enough looking at cars. I have gotten the speciality to drive now, which is pretty incredible. So, whenever you're ready, sir. Yeah. Just make like a donkey's dick and hit the road. I think at the end of the straight we should demo the, the whole holding, holding in the paddle thing. Oh, yes. We're also just following a friend of ours in a, it's like 800 brake horsepower drift car. Yeah, yeah, the GT86. Um, GT86. Sam's got that on his phone, so hopefully we'll see that at some point. Um, but yeah, hopefully tonight we're gonna get to check out all, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Just look at, just look, look at the pits. <laughs> and the best thing is we have keys to some of these things. We have keys to them. So um, yeah. And a very, very generous it. friend. A very generous friend, which we, we cannot thank enough for inviting us out here to let us drive his cars. And let's see what else comes. I mean, look at this, for example. Look at this thing. Yes, that's not machine gun fire. That's that's the exhaust on that Liberty Walk GTR. Okay, we're at the hot lap in 
<laughs> the full right turn. It shifts a lot shorter than the Speciali. Yeah. Oh, we are on pace with a Cayman GT4 right now. There he goes. <laughs> Goodbye. is after that one. <laughs> so we've just been in the 488. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, that thing is absolutely mental. Uh, I just realized I look a bit of a moron with this dome on my head, but that experience blew me away. First experience with the 488. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And it's got a huge amount of torque. The weirdest thing is being in a Ferrari that you have to sort of not short shift, but because the ratios of the gears are quite short, with it not being as revy an engine, it's weird hearing a Ferrari shifting so fast and and soon. But no, one hell of a motor and one hell of a driver. That was absolutely fantastic. I've been saying since I got here is that this place is an attack on the senses. Yeah, the night is young and the cars are amazing and everything is just next level greatness. 991 RS here. You know, I'm not sure if you watch my Q&A, but I did say I didn't get an RS because the wing is too big. And I still stand by that, but in the context of this racetrack and all the other crazy stuff that's around here, it's actually not that bad. So I've lost for words at how ridiculously cool this whole thing is. You know? What 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 you say about this? Look at it. You know? You couldn't really script a better a better day. I mean this is just a Saturday in February. Look around Bahrain, 17 degrees, some of the world's best supercars and hypercars. You want to see what I'm looking at. You want to see what I'm looking at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Look, look down here. Just that view. 488. That drift car that Sam's out in. The GT86 P1 there. Oh, look. 675 LT. Creeping up behind that. 4 litre RS. And the Liberty Walk crew behind. Uh, I mean... You know, you guys know I get enthusiastic about cars, and I think if I got if I got truly enthusiastic about how I feel right now, I'd probably break down in tears. It's just so crazy. Boys, roll well. I mean, these are rare enough as they are, but uh... guys, don't forget we are driving on track together with these cars. They're not just sort of here for show. This isn't a show. This is an actual active track day. This is like magazine grade stuff, you know.
don't quote me on that, that's not fact. It just looks and sounds like an absolute animal. <laughs> Look, we're here just just casually from there, you know? Now I can bring you guys along to this. Ooh, it's just mind-bending, mind-bendingly cool. This is happening. <laughs> Let's hop in. So, is this so it sets off in E mode? It sets off every time you start it. Every time it sets off, it sets off in E mode. Sort of e -mode. back to E mode. Okay. It's pretty cool. Uh, you've got the dial here to go full electric, hybrid, and it'll switch between as as it wants. Right. Sport, it'll it'll switch the engine. It'll just it'll just come in. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and uh, you know you can. Oh, that's huge! <laughs> it's like big talk. Yeah. Oh, that's an like instant. Yeah. <laughs> that's like faster than most hot hatches yeah. in like, <laughs> like race mode. <laughs> wow. It's like being in the Jetsons. You know. It's the future. Exactly. It's amazing. Yeah, this, this is what the wow. future is going to feel like. And so that power I'm feeling now is that always available even when the engine's on. Yes. So it's like torque assist exactly. all the time. It's like nitrous. Yeah. Nitrous, but electric nitrous. Yes. That's the best shit ever. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, yeah, and you can go up to 150 kilometers an hour. In electric, in emo? Yeah. And how long will that last for? Uh, if you can just flick the screen to the right. That's like, uh, yeah. it's like a big iPad. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, 11 look at this. kilometers. 11 kilometers. That's far enough if you want to go around town, though. Yeah. And the good thing is, when the, when you're on the brake, yeah. uh, it'll, it'll recharge the electric. It'll regen? Yeah. So what we were talking about with the, the, the like regenerative braking? Exactly. You don't have to go and stop and recharge it. Yeah. Uh, as you're driving with the ICE on, the internal combustion engine on, yeah. that also uh, charges the other screen. Back this way? Yeah. Okay. And this oh, the regen. Shows, yeah. Shows you ah. where the electric power is going. Whether it's from the oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. out to the axles. Or even off the throttle. Oh wow, yeah, you can see it in real time, it just comes in. Yeah, and then on the brake. Oh, that's so cool. It, oh, it just comes in. Yeah. Oh, no, I just switched it off. Wow. It's just a little cold. <laughs> yeah. Just gotta get the temps yeah. up. Spider. Thanks to this wonderful man and his fantastic drifting skills. <laughs> it's amazing. What a piece of kit. Thank you.
doesn't matter how stupid I look in this skid lid anymore, as I'm about to go out in this Mercy Lago Super Veloce. Look at this piece of weaponry. Check it out, it's so amazing. Paul Wallace was here right now, he would cream himself. today was gonna be good I didn't quite appreciate just how good it was going to be you've seen the cars you've seen the rides you've seen the location today is gonna go down in my history as one of the best days I've ever had I just want to say a massive thank you to my friends out here who have helped make this incredible day happen thanks for inviting me out here and uh, for letting me drive their cars amazing everyone here is so accommodating everyone such a strong petrol head it's just the mecca of supercars so thanks everyone thanks for watching too i just hope a small percentage of what i experienced today comes through on film because uh, it's been truly truly magic experience with that in mind this is mr jww from bahrain and i'll see you soon ciao